Hello and a huge welcome to this video. I'm Scorpion from How to Do, and in this video, we will be learning how to make physics doors in Unity using Playmaker. So this is the scene which we were making in the previous video. So if you uh, have not seen my previous video, go ahead, click the link in the description box below, and see the first part of the top-down game, how to make top-down game in Unity using Playmaker. So this is what we made in the previous videos and a previous video so this is the second video and second part of the tutorial series and in this video we will be learning how to make a really awesome door in here so let's just uh, do that so first thing first what you need to do is you need to just go ahead and make some walls so let me just go ahead and delete these and make a wall out of this cube uh, we can just go in here go to this mode this one I don't know what it's called it's rect tool <laughs> it's called rect tool and we have to just make it look kind of a wall and bring it over here duplicate this guy move it like this and now we need a door uh, I hope you guys will have some kind of a door uh, because I have so if you don't have you can also use a cube over here but I'm I have a door so I'm just gonna search door and there you can see these kind of a bad doors I have this one uh, <laughs> no, I will use uh, I will use this one. This one looks good to me. And the oh, fuck. Uh, there we go. Great. Uh, this is from uh, let me see. It's from the Polygon Haste Pack. So if you don't have, go ahead and click the link in the description box below and download these. Uh, from uh, unitylover.com alright and you have to just say polygon and download these two uh, packs I have told you also in the uh, previous videos that download these these will help you a lot to make a tutorial scene uh, 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 a really awesome game scene in unity using playmaker so I set the door like that and I am going to uh, take both of the walls and make them a little bigger so that they match it there we go and we're going to select this guy uh, match this guy like this and then we are going to uh, enlarge it a little bit so that it fits in right there great great work now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and select both of the walls and set the name to wall and we are going to say add component uh, use one of the wall uh, like here's the handle of the door right so it will rotate around this axis so we are going to select this wall uh, where the hangs are and we're going to say add component a I'm gonna say rigid body rigid body and open up the rigid body and set it to kinematic there we go and yeah that's that then what you have to do is you have to select the door and you have to say uh, box collider first so say box collider there we go and it's already set like this and we can even make it a little smaller if you want like this like that and there we go and then the next thing which we want to do is we want to say uh, add a rigid body in here so say rigid body and now we are done next thing which you want to do is you want to say H I and G E joint <laughs> hang joint and yeah that's that so as you can see here there's a little arrow over here which means the it's gonna do something over there <laughs> so what you have to do is uh, if you play now you will see that something will happen something will actually happen if you play now and walk towards the door nothing will happen uh, nothing happens this is because let me just go ahead and add a cube pretty object cube uh, right there there we go and add a rigid body component in here a rigid body and play now and now something will happen so as you can see this guy will drop down and there we go the door opens like this 
<laughs> there we go so the axis is like this so we have to change the axis so we are going to the door and we are going to set the x axis to 0 and the y axis to 1 and that will do the stuff so now if you play you can see the arrow is directioning like this uh, so if you take the cube uh, cube and bring it like this the door opens like that all right there we go so it's working quite nicely and you can see it does not comes back over there like you saw in the uh, demo scene so you have to say uh, use springs and you have to set the spring to something like 10 or 8 or whatever you want and you have to use say use limits and you have to say minimum to minus 90 and maximum to 90 and that's that you got to say play and now you'll see it will quite nicely work take this cube bring it over here and there we go there we go you can see it swing, swings like that and there we go and the maximum uh, amount it can go is 90 degrees so 90 degrees and uh, minus 90 degrees so that's great but why is our player not able to open up the door uh, like if we go there you can see he is not able to open up the door this is because he cannot interact with the rigid bodies until you don't have until you have the rigid body by yourself but if we add a rigid body to our character uh, if we add a rigid body to our character and say play you will see that something bad will happen right here something really bad uh, well nothing happens uh, something because we don't have a collider we don't have a capsule collider uh, okay we have to say capsule collider now for rigid body to interact we actually need some kind of a collider so it's already set great and now if we play you will see that something bad will happen like this something bad is happening right here <laughs> I don't know what is it is why it is I don't really know I, I I don't really know it was because of the capsule collider uh, okay it was because of the character controller but now if we play it goes down so it, so it does not works with the uh, properly with the character controller as well as the playmaker rigid body does not works if you are using uh, the playmaker so you have to do something else so what to do now you have to go to your character say uh, add a 3d object and add a capsule all right inside of your player there we go and the first thing you have to do is you have to say mesh renderer to off so there we go we don't have any mesh renderer now however we have a capsule collider with that uh, let's just decrease and decrease it like that decrease the radius set it like this and it looks good to me there we go and now we can add a rigid body to this guy a rigid body and we're going to say do not use gravity so it does not falls down then we are going to freeze the position freeze the rotation and so that it does not goes anywhere uh, but it is all uh, the child of this man so when he moves the capsule also moves with this collider so now if you play you will see that it will quite nicely work uh, still not working this is because the collider is little small so I am going to make the radius where is the radius uh, like this there we go you can see uh, it is quite nicely working uh, if you go to the top view uh, you can see that we have these two guys with uh, this one little bigger so this one is actually the character controller uh, there you can see it so let's just make character controller a little smaller there we go and now it will quite nicely work uh, the character controller should be a little smaller than the uh, than the uh, the capsule collider still not working uh, let me just go ahead and check it out uh, take this capsule collider make it a little bigger there we go so you have to just make it a little bigger and that will do the trick yeah you have to just make the capsule a little bigger 
like this and there we go now we can save the scene and we can enjoy the opening of doors there we go so the door opens and swings like that and we can also move around like that pretty awesome i love it so that's pretty much it guys hope you guys enjoyed my video and one thing to make sure you have to make the door a little above the ground so that it does not collide with the ground so uh, you have to make sure you do that so and to make uh, another wall you have to just copy these guys copy everything uh, sorry control D copy everything and you can just uh, make any as many doors as many walls as as much as you want so uh, we can do it like this and and like that and if you play now you will see that it will work every every door will work there we go the every every door opens and closes like that so looks good to me hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did then subscribe to my channel which is how to do and if you haven't seen my previous videos go ahead click the link in the description box below and see them first and yeah hope you guys enjoyed and if you want the next tutorial uh, if you want to see the next tutorial go ahead and uh, just subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified that I have to, uh, uploaded another tutorial so that's it guys hope you guys enjoyed and if you want you can also donate me some money through paypal the link to that will also be in the description box below hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next video till then be cool